Hey, hey, hey. Good morning. Good morning. This is the real Dr. G, your girl, Lady Karen, in the house. Anyway, <sighs> just there. Got some sleep. I, I didn't get a lot of sleep. <laughs> got probably like about three, four hours of sleep, but that's just how I go with my pain. Anyway, I'm just here relaxing in the bed before I go to go, go for my walk so that my back pain can ease off a little bit. Because I got up from about 3 o'clock, about 2.30. Yeah, I got up about 2.30. <laughs> That's my life for you. Because I went to bed probably about 11. Yeah, probably about 11. I was trying, I was bucking and knocking out. So let's say I get that. So I was calling the doctor too to make them know. I said, boy, all when I take medicine, I still only sleep in four hours and sing. That is just so it go. The pain wakes me up or I have to run to the bathroom that wakes me up. You know, I just wake up and then just feel ready for the day. So you say go. But the problem I have had that I've been telling my doctors about is that I keep waking up in the mornings when everybody's sleeping and there's nowhere opened up. You know, there's nowhere open at two, three, four, five, six in the morning, seven, you know. So sometimes when I get up that early, I want to go back to bed and I don't know how to go back to bed or I have to get my son ready for school at seven o'clock so it don't make sense to go back to bed or what I do burn some weed and get a little sleep get some more sleep and then I try to wake up so I try to use the medical marijuana for that reason sometimes um anyway so apart from that um I gotta check out the the, the dispensary and thing and check out what they have they have a dispensary nearby that i haven't visited yet called true leaf for medical marijuana they have like a a cartridge a liquid cartridge which t with thc that you can use to help you to sleep and help with the nausea that i get sometimes so so anyway that is a that's my mission for today is that whenever thing open up and thing i can check out the dispensary i haven't been there uh, renew my card and everything you have to renew your card mm -hmm. and make sure your card up to date before you can even go over there because of social distancing but anyway that's one reason why i want you guys to vote vote for to legalize med medical marijuana you know in whatever state you are in the u.s vote to legalize weed recreational marijuana and for medical use as well it helps a lot of people out there including kids you know, there are kids that I know who have seizures and have, have no, um, you know, nerve disorders, all types of problems. And they've tried medications of all types. And it's like the, the medicine causes so much side effects and don't help the symptoms. That they use a strain of weed called Charlotte's Web that has a lot of CBD in it. So I've done lectures about CBD and THC with medi and medical marijuana in the past. You know from a patient standpoint and a doctor standpoint so you can look back on my videos and so on just just into marijuana and see what comes up sometimes i do like to talks and i delete them because i get shy i'm not lying or my family don't like it but i'm somebody who not hypocritical because we're using it and it's out there right there down the street and the store open and welcoming people who have the card to come in and check it out so why not talk about it? Because it's medicine and wellness and health and healing. And it's herbs. Healing herbs are the healing of the nation, you know. So Camilla Harris, she's from Chicago, um, from California. That lady who's running for, you know, who's political. I hope that the feds legalize the weed. I want the feds to legalize marijuana so we can have recreational use in Florida. Just like how they have it in Cali, California and Canada. And Holland. I've met many people over the years who come to Jamaica, for example, to teach us about strains of the weed and cloning plants and the farming aspects of things, you know. So I talk about the chemical type um, things um, involved in medical marijuana and THC, CBD. But I do a lot of different lectures that I've done in the past, you know, about different approaches. Show you charts, I show you charts and so forth. I have my certificate to certify people in Florida for the medical marijuana card. It's just that I've been ill myself and I was actually going to work for them. I tried working for them one time for my doctor's office. And the one day that I used the phone hurt the whole of my head and neck. 
So that's one reason why I'm lying down here and just chilling still and making sure that my neck is in a position that is fine to use the phone. I get a lot of headaches right here. So I got my ballot. I got my mail-in ballot because I am disabled and I don't want to be in the line or worry about the line. So I have my ballot ready. And honestly, I didn't know who to vote for. Red is behind me. I like Trump. I don't mind Trump. Trump is cool. You know, a lot of people don't like Trump. But I like Trump for many, many things. I like Trump that because he's straight up, you know, even though he lies when he's ready, he's a blatant liar and he's an abuser towards women and, you know, some things he's done, he's gotten away with. But also, when it comes to his tax returns and, and those types of questions, he wasn't straight up. He doesn't answer straight up because he's such a liar. And I don't like liars. I don't like him how he disrespected the soldiers, though, because I'm, I'm a soldier. Yeah, I never joined the army. <laughs> But I consider myself a soldier, you know. I look out for my friends. I look out for people. I take care of people. But I represent my country. I'm a patriot. I'm, a, I'm an ambassador more so for Jamaica. But I'm an American. I became a citizen. And, I'm, you know, I came from a foreign country, from Jamaica to America when I was 17 years old. I didn't have my papers. I came on my visitor's visa. And then when my mom and I came and I got into college, I never forgot January 1996, it was cold. And I got into college with my SATs and my subjects from Jamaica. And we ended up going back to Jamaica to get my student visa. I ended up getting married in between and got my papers, got divorced, and then I got married again to an American too. Got married to two, two Americans already. So basically I'm somebody who is Jamaican and has been through a lot so I know how it is to go through the immigration process. I know how it is to have to file for papers and wait and to go for the interview and to go and answer questions with my husband at the time. Trust me, I have a lot of friends who have married for papers, who came and overstayed. I know people who crossed borders, who came. You know, I'm a, I'm a medical doctor. I take care of refugees. I take care of soldiers and veterans. I take care of everybody. So when Trump talk about that the servicemen are losers, you know, soldiers are losers and, you know, how them, you know, they deserve to die, that type of thing. That was pretty cold. I get cold sometimes. I get cold. I've been through so much hurt and I just, sometimes I just don't like people. A lot of times I just don't like people. Because people have got done a lot of things to hurt me, you know, and they take my kindness to weakness. So when it comes to people... Trump kind of treats people like things. I have friends who do that, treat people like we're things, you know, and, and, you know, I'm all about equal rights and justice and love, sharing the love. But also, I'm also concerned about benefits, our benefits, our social security benefits, our health care benefits. That's really where I'm going at. So politically speaking, I do a lot of activism and have done that since I'm a little, was a little girl in Jamaica and I continue to do that in the U.S., because I have a passion to do that. So when it comes to Trump, he lost my vote when he disrespected the soldiers. And when he was in the debate and they talked, they asked him to talk about, the, to address the white supremacist groups, the extremist groups, you know, who are causing problems, who are causing a lot of problems and racism, you know, he didn't address it. He told them to stand by and that was disgusting. I thought that was terrible. It was so Hitler-like. It was so like, uh, such such dictatorship behavior, you know. His narcissism showed up there for sure, and then, but he, but at least he managed and racist. At least he could tell you he's right. At least he could, but then he lied about you know when you ask him if he said certain things, he lies. So I don't rate Trump because Trump can't say he not like black people and I don't like these types of people. He ain't too lie. So at least Biden called him a clown and can tell him to shut up. That's what I love about Biden. Even though I was like, whoa, that's so unpresidential. <laughs> it's so unvice presidential. People say stuff about me too, how it's not professional for Karen to believe this to smoke weed online. She's a doctor. Why does she behave like that? Why does she like dance hall and go out sometimes? Why does she go out when she's sick? How come she says she's in pain and she's doing all this stuff? You know, yeah. 
So people stereotype people all the time, yeah, man, and you must just know yourself and be yourself and live your life to the fullest and be careful. So speaking about being careful, Trump finally got corona after thinking he couldn't get it. So we have to just keep wearing our masks, guys, whenever we can, because I'm the same way. I don't like the mask because it's irritating. I have a nerve a nerve problem where, you know, my, my face gets a bit extra sensitive to the touch and stuff and things in my face and the heat too. So I have an overheating condition already that affects my skin. So when I wear the mask and breathing, that, that hot air don't really help as well. You know what I'm saying? So right now I'm going to go for a walk and I'm going to bring my mask as well because sometimes I'm running into, I'm walking and the neighbors coming close on the sidewalk. People walking their dogs and they're coming ahead of me. So what I do is hurry up, put on the mask and thing as I'm passing them. <laughs> so, and I see that some people walking, most of the people who I see walking, not wearing any masks and bicycling, not wearing masks as well. Cause it's, it's, it's difficult to breathe. It's hard to breathe. So with people wearing all these shirts about, I can't breathe. And you know, all these masks and all these things, merchandise about, I can't breathe because of George Floyd, the guy who got, you know, choked out in the ground. Ah oh boy, I can't breathe with the mask either, you know, but it helps to, so that, let's say for example, even my hairdresser was doing my hair yesterday and she was talking and I could feel her, her behind me. Like sometimes you talk and people spit, you know, it, it's good to wear masks, it's, wear, it's good to wear the mask. So that's what I would push, you know, there's one time we have data out there about the mask, how it causing, you know, lung changes as well, it doesn't matter. It's still the fact that it's protecting other people. From getting the virus or tr things transmitted through aerosol and then if they wear the mask it helps to protect you so you don't get corona virus you know the COVID-19 a lot of people have suffered from it a lot of people have it without symptoms but a lot of people have died from it you know over 200,000 people in the US have died from it and they have a lot of blame on Trump Trump downplayed it a lot so there's a lot of videos going around about that and because of that too i wouldn't vote for him so i would actually choose biden i don't like biden i'm not gonna lie i didn't like him at all from the start he was okay with obama but yeah sure not a white guy who don't like black people so Kamala harris kind of put him in his place so him just as racist as trump and just as feisty and not as diplomatic i didn't like how he talked in the debate i didn't like how he told Trump he was a clown and to shut up. He, he could have done it in a different way. So he can have more self-control with his feelings and his comments, you know what I'm saying? In the limelight. So he's not the best to represent America. The two of them are embarrassing. The two of them don't deserve to be president. But they work hard and it's a part of the game. And that's, you know, power. When you have power and you're in certain positions in life, your settings and the things and you get away with it and I see that among family I see that in Jamaica I see that all over the world so they get away with these things because people don't talk about it and address it and put them in their place as well so I like how Biden put him in his place and kind of wanted him to just be quiet so they could have a real debate you know what I'm saying because Trump was really too much in the debate inter interrupting every minute so it's just time and place so that was okay the moderator was really trying his best to control the two of them so that they could get their chances to speak so we'll see what the other debates are going to be like because trump you know he he's um on the lockdown right now getting treatment for his coronavirus got immune therapy and all type of treatment that other people can't access you see when you're in a certain position you get immunotherapy when everybody else don't get it yeah so a lot of scientists doing research right now and coming up with the vaccines they're coming up with the therapies they still want people to donate plasma if you've had corona. Remember that if you've had the coronavirus, you can contribute to science and donate plasma. Donate the plasma so we can get the antibodies from that to treat patients with, you know, with severe coronavirus. And so they can do research too. One thing I'm curious about is the immunotherapy, like they were mentioning. I wondered um, how do we test for the immunity and what type of titers do we need to check up on? You know, those are things that are developing as we speak. So I kind of been busy with my health and haven't been keeping up with things. I really just watch the news and try to keep up as much with the news and with social media. I see a lot of posts. But because of my health as well, 
I haven't been able to keep up with the medicine and my journals as much as I want to. But when I'm ready, I, I find my way to research things. But when it comes to the immunotherapy treatments or checking if we're actually immune, that's the, the test that I find is really important. So that way, when the virus, when the vaccine comes out, or whichever vaccine, because they have many, they have different countries doing different vaccines. It's not just one person or one company developing it. So let's see what happens. You know, there have been videos going around about how they're gonna force people to take vaccines. I don't believe that. You know, nobody can force anybody to do things. That's not humane. So I'm not gonna allow that as a physician. That's something I'm gonna stand up against too. You know what I'm saying? So don't worry about that. People talk about the chip and thing and all that, that too, and circulating lots of videos. So nobody can force us to do anything and get anything we don't need to to get. That's not humane. So leave that alone. Because remember, the first rule in medicine is to do no harm. And people can be allergic to a lot of things in the vaccine. So even if you wanted the vaccine, you might be allergic to some component of it. Like the influenza vaccine, for example, is made with eggs or in eggs. So if you're allergic with, to eggs, you can't get the influenza vaccine. Certain preservatives that they use for the vaccines, people are allergic to that. Just the preservatives that allows them not to get the vaccine. Some people have had like childhood problems, autism, all these things that they blame vaccines on, whether it's true or not. Sometimes a lot of these things can be proven. So a lot of people prefer to defer the vaccines and not have them. And that's your, your choice. That's the type of medical doctor I am, family medicine physician, who, you know, I take time with the patients and I tell them what I recommend. I don't tell them what to get, you know, that they have to get it. I recommend it based on their history and physical, the assessment that I made, and I come up with a plan. And I tell them the plan, and if they want to follow it, then it's no problem. If they don't want to follow it, I tell them what this, the risk may be. That, you know what, if you don't get the vaccine, you might get sick and you might die from it. You might not build up your immunity, so that if you get exposed to the virus, you can fight it off better. So vaccines are there, not so much as a cure, but it's to help people so that if you get exposed to the virus, you don't get too sick. You don't die from the virus, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, I can't wait for that to come out, but I'm patient for that to come, you know. I'm patient when it comes to the vaccines because I'm somebody who waits for it to kind of get used first and see what happens because I think that this is being rushed. So not to go into the into details about the vaccine, I also want to remind people to vote because a lot of, um, you know, Trump was making people nervous about the mail-in ballot and voting by mail, how, you, you know, how it may be fraudulent, all these things. So there's a lot of political propaganda out there. He's, he's scaring, he's using scare tactics, yeah. So remember guys, especially if you're a veteran, a soldier and all that and serve, especially if you're a Republican, remember that Trump don't care about you. And we need people who care. And I like guns. I don't mind people having guns. So when it comes to those things, I feel like we have the right, you know, equal rights and justice, you know, we, we should have our gun to protect ourselves in our homes and so forth. But I don't believe in violence, you know. I'm somebody who is a victim of, of violence and have had surgeries slip and falls all kind of things happen to me but either way i don't promote violence so trump is somebody who didn't really calm down the place and calm the situation like i said with the racism and all that when the all when the black lives matter you know demonstrations were going on when the protests are going on so with all of that said i guess i just made up my mind to vote for biden and harris <laughs> So anyway, with Harris being in power, she, you know, hopefully will help the feds to make things right. You know, they talk about her, how she prosecuted lots of black people, and how she hypocritical, because she, all she did was put them in jail, lots of black people. You know, there are things going around all the time. People have negative to say all the time about everybody. That's just how life goes. That's human nature. People just negative when they're ready. But stay positive, guys. Think about who going to do best for you, who will help you, to live well, live good quality of life, you know, keep your benefits, your social security, your Medicaid, your Medicare, you know, um, you know, the penalties for the health care that Obama had and stuff on there on the Obamacare, Trump removed some of them or made some adjustments to the law. So there, you know, hopefully that, that will get universal health care for all. That's what I've been preaching about is universal health care. 
where, did, where you're not paying the penalty tax or tax penalty just because you didn't sign up with a plan. You know, I have a friend who, she actually brought me to the beach yesterday. She don't have insurance. She's in her 50s, don't work. You know, she got laid off and she don't work and she still don't qualify for Obamacare and she don't qualify for Medicaid and it doesn't make no sense. So she's on a plan or she was on a plan through a hospital, like a, like a, an assistance program that the hospital has locally. So there's a lot of people who are still uninsured and don't get the health care who need it, especially their physical. Everybody needs a routine physical. The physical is the preventative care. So we can prevent you from getting sugar, you know, like diabetes, check your blood pressure, check up on all of your history, your family history and everything. See if you smoke or not, drink alcohol, that type of thing. How is your exercise? You know, but we do physical to see how you're doing. And to check up on your, your vaccines to see what vaccines you need, what screening you need, like your mammogram, your bone density, your prostate check. All of those are important. So and all of those should be free when we're getting covered, you know. So I just want to say good morning to you all as well. Thanks to everybody who's on, on my live watching right now worldwide. I was hoping that more people would come on so we can interact a little bit, but we can do that another day. So today is my day to talk about voting. So from the healthcare standpoint... I've been seeing it a lot where things haven't changed. People are still without plant, without insurance, still paying high costs out of pocket, whether it's privatized or it's Obamacare. I don't like none of them because they still you still have to pay. We still have to go through this long process, call a number or go on the computer to try to see if we can get a subsidy. All of these things we have to be doing and it take a toll on me. See, man, I'm so happy that my baby father, my ex-husband does that for our son because it's so hectic to do it. And, you know, and I have Medicare, I have a Medicare plan and I have to watch out for open enrollment as well. You know, they hustle us Medicare patients and they want to like offer money sometimes to patients just to switch to another plan. It's all a business and it's so disgusting and ridiculous because it's all the corporations and bigger companies that are making the money and the pharmaceutical too, people making money. I got a script to get a lotion for my foot or some type of cream from my, the bottom of my foot because my foot gets so dry and thing and the callus builds up because of the way how I walk from the back pain from the accident and it's not covered it's over the counter but my, I have a veteran friend who's 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 cream the same exact thing is covered and he could get three months supply three of them at one time to show you how the system just all over the place so veterans are getting a little bit a little better benefit than how I get with my Medicare plan so it's not equal and across the board. And then you have the other commercial insurances that have their formulary, their drug formulary, and that's, you know, they determine what's over the counter or not. So I'm just giving you all of those little tips and so forth so because people don't think about it. They don't know about the U.S. system when it comes to healthcare. So when it comes to healthcare, I care a lot. And that's why I do my blogging about how we need to document more because the government have been even compensating doctors to even make sure that we document well and to make sure that you have certain things that you need so they give the document the, the doctors incentives you know patients get monitored a certain way and the doc and they get you know the government or the insurance companies reimburse doctors so right so basically it's all about quality care quality service and making sure that you stay alive and stay well you know or if you have chronic medical conditions that you're being taken care of properly so electronic medical records is something the government had um, had incentives for so that people can have your documentation on computer. I still go to doctor's office where they have things on paper and they write things down or they don't write things down. And I find that that causes a lot of miscommunication and you have to be repeating the same thing you tell them all the time. And then you lose benefits because they're not all on the same page when insurance companies review you or the disability people review you. Or let's say you want to get disability the doctors may not document it enough for you to qualify for disability so thank god for me personally um i'm on disability and i'm not ashamed to say that i work hard for that from college i've been working and those tax you know it's not a lot it's not a lot so i have to find other ways of making money and president bush in the past used to tell us that we need to invest our money differently and not depend on social security so hopefully they keep the social security without messing us up because <laughs> i rely on that 
I don't have Medicaid. I don't qualify for Medicaid. Because sometimes when you have too much assets, like if you have a house or a car, sometimes they don't want to give you those things, even though we're broke. So there is a lot that you need to fix. Because a lot of people have Medicaid who have money and care and land a house and working on the table and they have their gold teeth, their gold chain and they have it Chris's makeup and their hair did and their nails did and I'm there sitting working hard in the office and I'm like wow you know can't get any of these things done with my insurance or working so hard that I just paying bills I just working to pay bills that's how it did feel when I was in practice so us doctors are not rich you know we work hard and we have to bill insurance companies and wait for them to pay and that's what used to take up my time is tracking down money tracking down money that people owe me after I do the work. So the system could be better. The system could be better. And if we don't talk about it, it's not going to change. If we don't talk about how people need to do their work and do it well as doctors, nurses, lawyers, police, police, especially all of these people need to do their work and do it well. And even if you're not doing it well, we need to reassess the situation and train them properly. But a lot of them need training out there and stuff to do their job well. So by blogging and vlogging and us, and us sharing information on social media, that helps to get the word out. So that's, you know, so basically when you're doing your ballot, be careful and think when you're choosing, when you're reading about the amendments to the laws, read it very carefully. Good morning. Good morning. Read it very carefully before you select yes or no. There's a lot of yes or no questions on the ballot. And um, if you're not familiar with the people who are running for the office or the or whoever they're asking if you want to stay in office, Google it. You know, you can Google it and they have other supportive material like Democrats have a, a website that you can go to where it shows you all the Democrats. I don't have the link with me right now, right? I don't have it handy right now in front of me because I'm kind of tired too. But um, somebody texted me the list of who is Democrat on the ballot. Apart from, but on the ballot you will see DEM. So choose DEM, choose Democrat, guys. Let's go blue. <laughs> We're gonna go blue for peace. <laughs> but let's go blue for Democrat, see? Sorry, Trump. We can't go red for love. Red is for love. <laughs> white is for unity. White is the peace as well. Peace, love, unity, don't know. So anyway, I love to associate colors with things. And that's just how I stay a long time. So anyway, guys, you have a great day. You enjoy the rest of your week. And remember to send out the ballots before the deadline comes up. Yeah, all right? And remember, you can track it. You can track it to make sure it reaches there. Or you just drop it off at the electorate office. I have a friend who is very paranoid about those things. And all she do is just drop it off herself so she knows it actually get there to the electorate office. You know, so you can deliver it yourself. But it's a mail order for a reason. It's supposed to reach there for you in the mail. You know, so... It should be fine. So I'm confident about that. Anyways, guys, so you have a great day. Remember, and, and even if you're voting for Trump, that's no problem with me. We just need to be civil. I just wish that we could be civil and be able to discuss things, you know, without having any war and, you know, and demonstrations that are not peaceful. So, so if you have protests, just continue to do peaceful protests because nothing is wrong to stand up for our rights. We need to. So... If you were brought up a certain way and you know culturally speaking you're racist you know i was brought up a certain way and so and I, I have family in my i have people in my family who were racist big time and i'm jamaican racist among our own black people so it's not black and white it's among black people too and among different cultures i have jamaicans who don't like haitian not like cuban all these things i've gone through things with different people as well different races all kind of nations Belgium, Cuban, you know, Jamaican. So, you know, I don't know if you call it racism, if they hurt me or if they do something bad, but I kind of don't like what I've gone through with some people, but they're still people. We're all mixed up and blended up in so much ways, you understand? So it's kind of hard to just associate one person to one type of race or it's like we're just a mixed up. We're mixed up, you know, the, the, the whole world. It's one, you know, whether you like it or not. It's a small world. So we all got to get along and keep the peace. So I'm a peacemaker, I'm a diplomat, and I love to represent Jamaica as well. So big up and respect to all my yardies out there, all of my Jamaica and them. But big up to all the Americans out there too. All the American citizens, you know, we work hard 
to keep America great, like what Trump, Trump said. Keep America great. America is great and it has a lot of opportunities and it's a really, really, really beautiful place to go. I still have to explore the rest of the, the U.S. because there are so many states to go to and be, every state has their own rules and laws when, it, when they're ready. That's the only thing about the United States is sometimes it's so divided. It's kind of divided in many, many ways. You know, so we need to come together some more. We need to unite more and let the, the states kind of have the same, same, you know, laws across the board. It's like, like with the marijuana that I was talking about, like how a couple of states have it illegal, have it legal, but the feds don't want you guys to put it in the bank. You know what I mean? It's like, it's so, it's so backward. It's, it's, the world is going backward. It's not going forward. So let's move forward. Let's go green. <laughs> Go green, stay green. You know what I mean? So let's go green, let's go forward. Let's, it's all about progress, it's all about the environment as well. Because the, the earth is so beautiful, there's so much places to go, people to see, things to do. So you guys live your, your, the life to the best that you can. Live a good quality of life. And basically, seriously, vote Democrat. That's what I recommend. So Democrat is Dr. G endorsed. And that's how I'm going to leave it today. So big up to Ian. Love you guys. I haven't seen you in a long time. So inbox me your number. Big up Tasha. Big up Elvis and Yaya and everybody else who's watching. See, I'm just here chilling in my bed. I got my hair done yesterday. I got my hair done yesterday. So, but I have a little headache and thing. Because I, I haven't been really sleeping long. I just don't sleep long because of my pain. And thing, my feet were killing me from the other day. I've been putting on weight. Because the heat has been getting to me. So when it comes to my health and so forth, I continue to see my doctors and continue to get better and get health. But what I want to do is go walking before it gets too hot outside. So that way I don't get sick from the heat. So I was just waiting for the day to turn into light. So that way it's not too dark out there. So I was doing some work, doing some follow-up, setting up my laptop and things like that. Um, but I still haven't filled out my ballot yet. Because I'm tired and I want to do it. When I can really concentrate and read the laws and pick yes or no. Because I have a wicked headache right here from just sitting, doing things. So I go through a lot of pain or the cycle where the more that I do is the more pain I get sometime. And the more I exercise and so forth, it hurt. it's been putting me through um, the foot pain. The foot pain, the back pain, the headache as well. And because of the heat, the heat out there isn't too good on my, on my health, on my RSD, my reflex sympathetic dystrophy and my fibromyalgia. But I have a spinal fusion, I have a metal rod in my back. So I, 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 st I try to stay titanium tough. I have a titanium rod in my thoracic spine and um, with, you know, I try to stay titanium tough you know, to put up with the headache, put up with these things so I can come back, so I can get my things done at home. So the pain, so doing this blog is like a distraction from the pain. I blog and vlog and stuff about different things so that I can like, you know, not think about the pain. I like to interact with people and get you guys on the live sometimes. And we talk about different topics. I love music. I love sunshine. So I didn't want to go in the dark and be in the dark alone and be alone just walking. I like that the, like when the day starts to get light, that the neighbors are walking with their dog and they're saying hello and stuff. There are people from school around here. There are people from my son's school that I see on the way to my route, you know. But the thing is, we live as one. We're a big community. We're, 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 we're I should say, a small community. We're a small community worldwide. And, you know, in the U.S., there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. So just pay attention to the news. If you guys are not sure about who to vote for or why and, and so forth, research it. Google it, Google it, Google it, Google it. But there are many group pages out there a lot of people campaigning out there but if you have any questions that I can answer for you you can always inbox me you know I used to help my patients in the office with all types of things Jewish patients my LGBTQ community as well because I'm about equal rights and justice for the gay community and also for abortion rights for women rights too I'm a big on that I'm very very big on that I used to perform them myself in Jamaica and in the US so I've, I've given ladies, you know, I've done that myself for ladies and they appreciate it. I'm glad that they were able to get a chance to get some time and wait till they really wanted to have that baby for whatever reason. Whether it's rape that they went through or they have somebody who they really can't 
you know, they can't, they're not ready to have the baby. But whatever the reason, women rights, women rights, women rights. And LGBTQ community, like I said, but just equal rights and justice cross the board for all of us humans would be great. So big up guys for all of y'all who are working and doing the job out there. Big up to all of y'all out there. Hopefully you have a great week and stay positive. Stay titanium tough and stay positive. And remember to keep moving. Try to do at least 30 minutes a day of exercise of some type so that you can keep up your cardiovascular health. All right, so remember to vote, 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 vote. Vote Democrat. That's Dr. G Endorse, even though I have red behind me. It's for love. <laughs> it's for love. All right. <laughs> so, look at more, guys. Please take care and have a great day. Ciao.